Hello, this is Tofu and today we will be seeing a replay by player Disciples against player Jimmy Khan. Disciple posted this replay on the forums this week and um, nobody was really giving it any attention. So, as I have seen uh, quite a few replays from Disciples in the past, I decided to check it out and by request I am going to do a commentary on it so have fun and enjoy okay so both disciples and Jim begin with nature disciple begins with a tree spirit and Jim with a swift claw they are going to get the side wells over here and here Now, with nature, the longer the tier 1, the easier it is for tree spirits to gain an advantage. So, it's either good for disciples and bad for Jim, or, dis or Jim could have rushed disciples, but no, he decides to take it easy, and instead of doing either early rush or long tier 1, he decides to spread out the courtyard of the match and Disciples follows his um, initiative with his slower tree spirit that doesn't have swift. So that means there probably won't be tier 1 action and it uh, will be tier 2. So they both begin with two wells and then Disciples makes two wells here and Jim makes three wells. Disciple makes his first well now and advances to the middle. Jim watches that and uh, was either thinking to go tier 2 immediately but it would be quite bad to go tier 2 on this orb with no wells near it and allow Disciple to gain the um, offensive upper hand because both with tier 2 Disciple could then get more wells and Jim would be forced to attack here, so Jim decides to take these wells preemptively. He sees Tree Spirit, thinks he can make it, but then this orb is almost built, so he retreats. Jim is now going to take a well. Yes, there it is. So now the Disciple is one well behind, but he is pure nature and what he really wants is a Shrine of Memory. Now, what the crap is this? Jim uses an ensnaring root on the tree spirit. Wait, no. Ah, it was... It was Disciple. Ah, that's a good call. 45 power to kill 80 power units and makes a wall to put wind weavers. I thought it had been Jim. That would have been silly. Okay, so, well, Disciple did well over there and now this well is isolated and it's quite easy to take out an isolated well in this area in Simai. So, when is he going to play Shrine of Memory? Disciple does not yes, use no, deep ones. Here we see Gem use Spirit Hunters with the green affinity which deals more damage by time to kill these Wind Weavers that can fight back due to the mark of the keeper, which was a good play, uh, play by um, Jim. We here have a spike root by Disciples, which tries to get countered by Mauler, but Mauler is M and spike root kills M quite easily, even though he is outsized. Now, I think that Disciples should play Surges of Light a bit more preemptively, because Sometimes lag can uh, interfere and Surge of Light will turn out to be a little late. And that's horrible. Now, Jim was not really a good opponent. He had a Frost Orb so he could have used Glacier Shell and then Defenders. But he didn't. He could have killed the Living Tower before it had finished building. But he didn't. He already had a well, he could place undead units, but he didn't. So, yeah. Now Jim is going to attack with a Burwar. And this is a bad move. 
The type will do 65 power on Cursivine 2 and a 70 power burrower. That wasn't really effective. You should have used maybe roots and a ranged attacker or just plainly eaten up the damage with while killing with only with the spike roots. That um CC could have waited for two, the second bird to come out and because of that he lost this well which he could have easily avoided losing. Now Living Tower is very solid um, in this position with um, Taken Wall so I approve of that and Spike Root is a very sturdy unit one thing that Jim is going to do a lot often is use way too many Spirit Hunters. They don't have the offensive capability against um, structures and bind a lot of power. So Disciple doesn't make that mistake, but there will be mistakes you will make along the match. Now as for Wells, here we have it, Energy Parasite. Um, Disciple makes very good use of Energy Parasite which I approve of but we will make some mistakes Spike root on his first half of the match the sample plays very well so you really won't see me criticize him much for the most part Nothing much going on. I have no idea why Jim has spirit hunters over here. Maybe it's because of energy parasites. Is it? 1277? Yes. Disciple played energy parasite over there. That was nice. Didn't see it. But we can see by the well remaining um, power that it was successful. And here we should have seen a root. But didn't. And here we see a spike root die and they well go down. Finally, Shun of Memory is up. And I believe that Saddle has lost two wells so far and killed one. But he has a Shrine of Memory which speeds up in the void cycling. Which means that his used power um his power is used more times than gems. Now he used a good search of light. And he finally placed a spirit hunters which is extremely useful against spirit hunters because spike roots usually only kill one unit at a time. So yeah, they're really not the best choice against spirit hunters and he should have played spirit hunters sooner. Because these were death of one spike root at least. Now we see Jim progressing over here with another well. And here we have more energy parasites action. And Shrine of Memory being activated. Now this is a bad move. He should have played the Spirit Hunters and the um, Egg Roads, the Razor Shard, into the Spike Roots. Because these guys are S size, this thing is a beast against S size, is M size and would have been puned by Spike Roots. So he really didn't do a good job here, he is two, maybe three surges of light already. That is not very nice, he isn't playing by, he didn't play spare time close enough to get them in day. When you are in doubt whether things will be days or not, then place them a little bit too much to the wells so that you will make sure that they are spawned and they and make sure you don't over focus on spike roots Angry. disciples you have to take advantage of unit size weaknesses and strengths 
Anyways, Spike Roots didn't really have much of an opposition over here. Jim was really a bad opponent. He should have crowd controlled way earlier instead of using two surges of light himself. So, yeah, anyways, keep out for that. Use your Spirit Hunters better. You are using them very efficiently as far as um, amounts go of Spirit Hunters. You are not spending them too much, unlike Jim. But you're not using them too... Okay, now here is the first um, problem. You should have rooted the spike roots earlier. Like, when he was here, the moment he saw the aggressor spawn, you should have rooted him. Now, good place with Nexus here. And correct usage of crowd control. Now, you are just going to keep to using Surge of Light here, and that is wrong. Surge of Light is 80 power, as Spike Root is just 40 power more, and is another 1320 life and 1200 attack added. So, you should have used, and you did use, um, what's it called? Parasite Swarm, which is, was the most reliable thing to use. I wouldn't have used it on the Crystal Fiend, I would have used it on the Aggressor. But um, I congratulate you because you were skeptic about using um, Parasite Swarm, and now you use it very well. Against any other opponent, Hurricane could have been used, true, but that's not as easy as most would think. I believe you did the right thing, so now you should have kept microing the Crystal Fiend onto the Spike Root. It's still also targeting it, but now you run it away from the aggressor, but you should have kept it coming along. Also, good work on the Tree Spirit and Spike Root which are connected to the Nexus, but you could have moved it, the Spike Root as well over here, to help with killing these wells. Spike Root's damage is piercing through and towards the wells, but there is absolutely no way you can defeat um, resilient defenders with Surge of Light backup. That's just not going to happen. You should have moved the Spike Root here like pronto. These things do L damage and take nearly no damage even from a multi-buff Spike Root. Now here you should have used Surge of Light earlier as I mentioned before. It's always better to use it pre preemptively. You had over 100 power. Now here's the thing where things start to get weird. You have 150 power, 10 coming just from the void. Um, your shine of memory is not activated and is activatable. You have living tower here and over there, which is a good idea to play since it can't be crowd controlled and your opponent isn't using deep ones or um, spy recruits himself. So yeah, what was up to that? You should have began playing more and more spy fruits and using Shrine of Memory more often. Or kept up with the um, RNG Parasite thing we had going on. Still, you micro your spy fruit frontwards, like I mentioned that you should have earlier. So, good call on that. Could have been earlier, but it was still in time since Jim wasn't that good of a player and now you are doing it very very well you are focusing on the things that you need to focus on which are Maulers, um, Spirit Hunters and the, the freaking Wells these Wells are being like they are so easy to defeat and they cost 100 power each that doesn't go into the void they are your main focus. 
Now you have maxed out on your void potential, which is at 20, um, with the um, shrine memory up, and have 300 usable power. So, question mark. What the hell is up with not taking tier 3? Tier 3, please? No? So, you are allowing Jim to actually make small counterattacks. Now, there is nothing better than overkill when trying to counterattack since it doesn't really allow for efficient counter counter arcade counter counter counters let's put it like that um, now this is a really good move mind control and defenders while they were on resilience um, because you already had crystal fiends and this is going to allow for a really nice um, tank like they say in League of Legends don't focus tank. So yeah, that is the problem you had earlier. You were focusing the enemy defenders with your spike rig instead of the wells. But now you smartened up. Well, then still root spike rig in time. So you should can't control, and you do. So yeah, you have to um, root spike roots earlier when fighting aggressors. Aggressors may be all attack. But their large knockback is balanced by a very weak stat per power cost. So rooted spike roots are capable of countering uh, aggressors. So yes, rooted spike roots kill aggressors. Keep that in mind. Now he is um, having um, his crystal pins heal him up, so please place a lot of spike roots and own his ass. You have 500 power doing nothing. Now you have a little bit of lag on my computer since it's a laptop, don't mind it, don't mind it. Um, so yeah, spam, crowd control, use your power up. You have tons of power, you have tons of charges, you haven't used tier 3 yet. Oh, I missed the death of this living tower, I didn't even notice it. Um, now I see you played the riot, which was very nice, since it boosts your defense and regeneration. Since um, it makes your hit points worth more. Jim understands that and focuses his um, attacks on the riot, which allows you to own his spirit hunters. Jim plays two spirit hunters instead of one, that is not really as efficient as playing only one and aiming it at uh, an enemy at the time. Um, so yeah. You are using spirit hunters well, Jim is overusing them. You can clearly see that here. And now, um, I didn't um, follow it this time, but I saw that you realized you were not using the best of your abilities. So then you played two or three spike roots and attacked. You could have used shri um, Surge of Light the very moment you killed that Mark of the Keeper, and you should have. So yeah, you need to use Surge of Light a little bit earlier. And um, it was nice that you used Living Towers as backup and crowd control the enemy burrowers. Living towers are hard to place when the enemy is fire splash due to eruption, but are very steady backup in tier 2. They force enemy to go earlier in tier 3 or get less um, or lose map control, which is what happened to Jim here. Now you see that Jim is going for tier 3, and um, see, oh whoa, it's true, I have 600 power, I can go to free. Yeah, you really should have gone to free way, way, way earlier. Or use that all your power as soon as you had power to make a spike root. Or um, an energy, um, a parasite swarm. You could have done that better. So yes, his weakness was his wells over here, which 
man. He had tanks basically, which weren't good for offense. Um, thrust spells aren't good for defending because they don't really kill the attacking units. They only um, stall, so you just focus from a shell well to a non-shelled well. So yeah, the moment you realize his weakness, you won. But um, and now it's pretty much GG already. Jim should have um, given up earlier. I don't know why he didn't. The moment that things became obvious. So yeah. So. My thoughts on what Sapple needs to do more often. More often, he needs to use Surge of Light, not more often, but because he has stricken a, a ridiculously good balance at it, he has improved lots, and really, it's amazing how much he has improved since the earlier replays I used to see from him. But he needs to play them a little earlier. Because sometimes it's not even because of um, playing them too late. Sometimes it's actually lag. Um, it happened to me often in the past. I used Equilibrium or um, Surge of Light um, when I needed it to pop up. And then lag one or two seconds and my things were dead and then Surge of Light. And I was off. So yeah. I don't think that is always the case in that match, and that is why I say Disciple need to use Surge of Light a little bit earlier, it's better to use it a little bit earlier than use it after things just died. Um, aside from that, you need to take a little bit more attention to Shine of Memory usage. Um, you placed it when you should have placed it, you have a um, good eye for map control now, but don't have a good eye for enemy weaknesses. You defend yourself well, and but need to um, micro spirit hunters a little better. You are playing them when you need to play them. You are playing them as much as you need to play them, which is way more than I can say for most pure nature players. You um, clearly show that um, Deep One is not a staple card for pure nature. And I salute that, that is really, really awesome. Um, and can hold off at tier 2 quite well. Without um, having to use deep ones, as I said already. So, thumbs up on that. You are indeed a very good nature player. And due to the problems at the forums with lack of active... Um, competitive high rank players right now you are indeed one of the best or more active nature players at the front, which is a little sad but it's not that sad since you aren't a lamer that's it's very easy to see even from just this replay but I have seen a plenty of replays from him and he learns from his mistakes he receives and contemplates feedback and there's an average cool guy who isn't afraid of anything. So, yes, um... As for spike root usage, he um, used a lot of spike roots, and I believve that spike roots are balanced, spike but that's just my belief. And that match wasn't really a good match to decide or to discuss much about spike roots balance since aggressors while they are large si uh, knockback they are countered if I'm not mistaken by aggressor let me just check on that it's it's been so long since I've been on battle force that I am a little rusty maybe I'm not even oh my aggressors are uncommon I think yep shouldn't be too much of a bump that my aggressor isn't completely un upgraded so as you can see, even though my aggressor isn't completely upgraded, um, it shows clear signs that Spike Root will win. 
How much would the aggressor gain from being completely upgraded? Just 180 more hit points. So 280. Um, how much HP does the aggressor have? 100. Oh, just 10% more. Yeah, Spike Root is the clear winner when rooted against um, aggressor. Aggressor costs 25% more, which is 30 power. Fig power is 25% of 120. And Spike Root wins by um, a significant amount of HP. So, yeah. Um, even though aggressor is large attack and Spike Root is M attack, um, Aggressor, Tempest, maybe even Razor Shadow, I'm not sure. Uh, focus more on knockback over damage for power cost. Spike Root is um, a more balanced damage for power cost type of card. And Deep One is perhaps a little bit overpowered, perhaps. Because at your two large size, it's just not. Awesome. But come on, he is a melee unit. He is a pure melee unit. And he doesn't cost that little anyways. So Deep One isn't really overpowered, but it's definitely not underpowered. Um Yeah. I don't think I have much more to say about game balance on that. I think it's a little bit insensitive to compare Deep One's balance with Spike Root Balance. They are both good cards. Spike Root isn't underpowered, especially against uh, Force Nature, which is why this match wasn't good to decide whether Spike Root doesn't need a buff, which sometimes I feel like he could use a little buff, sometimes I feel that he is just fine. It depends on the match, it depends on player skill, to Sometimes it's actually debatable whether a player could have won or should have won. Sometimes it's just obvious that Spike Root is didn't make a difference whether he could have a little buff or not. This was one of the latter types. So that takes care of that. Disciple could use Surge of Light a little earlier. He could use micro spirit hunters better because he could have um, avoided that's being owned by the Razor Shard with the Spirit Hunters and not owning him with the Spike Root next door, which was like, wait, what? So, um, but while I am criticizing that, we do have to realize that when we are playing the game in per PvP, in a replay, when you watch a replay, it's so much easier to see the patterns of um, errors that players make uh, when, in comparison to when actually playing. When we are playing, we have to keep attention to many things, to the things that we have on board, to all of our well clusters, to, well, to where the enemy units are. It's very um, attention... It's a huge charge on the attention span. So I think that Disciple is a good player. Um, he ca still has a way to go in comparison to other nature players whose replays I've seen. But he is making progress still. Even though he's made plenty of progress, I still keep being surprised pleasantly by him. And I hope to see more from him in the future. Um, thanks for watching this commentary. I hope you learned something or two from the disciples um, who posted this replay on the BF forms and is active there. Um, he um, tends to um, discuss this and especially root network. So if you want to learn a few things from him, hit him up at the forums. And I hope to see you next time. Peace out.